It's been 10 years and I'm ready to break up. Iodine monofluoride just recently turned 29. He's turning 28 on Monday. We've been together for almost 10 years. So we met young and it was a long distance relationship so we moved really fast because of this. I feel like I never got to have an actual adult relationship. He never picked me up and took me out. I've always worked and he's never had a job so I'm the main provider. Despite all of our problems and red flags, we've made it this far, but the problem is I'm no longer in love with him. I have love for him, because who wouldn't after 10 years? I want to be in an adult relationship and I want to move on, and make a family with someone before I'm too old. I just no longer picture him as that person. I've planned to break up with him for a while. I've just been scared to, I'm so codependent and scared to be alone. I just got back from a week-long vacation with my family where I processed everything with them and this fresh start. The tipping point for me was while I was on that vacation he got on my laptop and went through my search history and saw searches that indicate I was going back home and that I've been talking to another guy. He told me, I will do anything for you except move back to underscore 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 where I'm from. I need advice on how to end things. Yesterday I told him I'd be moving back to my hometown with my parents, about 14-hour drive across states, in hopes to that conversation leading to breaking up with him but of course he gave all the lines in the book about how he was going to do better and even was applying for a job right in that moment. Promising me that things would get better, just give him six months. I told him I just wanted to make it through the weekend. He kept asking me if I was talking to someone else and I kept telling him no, even though I fucked up and I have been. There was so much crying and I just don't know how to grow the balls to do this. Any advice? Just leave. He is a mooch and won't ever amount to anything as long as he has someone to carry him. In your mind you have already broken up with the boy. Just be merciful and end it. No point in all this tearing at the wounds. You're not feeling it anymore. That's as much a reason anyone needs. Once the actual desire to be with someone is lost and you're no longer in love with them, there's really no turning back. You should have ended things prior to talking to someone else, and you should have picked a better person so that you wouldn't have wasted 10 years of your life. End things ASAP and move on. If you're not happy, there's nothing wrong with that. He could have been the guy that gives you everything you've ever wanted and still be unhappy with the relationship in person. You can still leave in a relationship like that too because you're unhappy. My suggestion is that you come clean and tell him why you're unhappy, end the relationship, and for a clear conscience tell him you have been talking to someone else. Think about the relief you will experience once it's done. I'm in a similar situation, hope to find a solution too. Good luck crossed fingers. Give him an end date to be out. He will need someplace to go. Continue your sea preparations. Start packing. Good luck. Then do it. Set yourself free. I agree with everyone that you should dump him. I don't agree with the people who say you should tell him you've been talking to someone else. It will just make him feel worse and he will assume that you're breaking up with him because of it. Not that you were going to anyway and started the side convo because you were emotionally checked out. Don't give him any ammunition to keep trying to talk you out of the breakup. I F22 just found out my girlfriend F24 hasn't gone more than a week without cheating on me. We've been together for one year. I am in a very bad place right now and I am just trying to make sense of this situation. Have I ever been suspicious? No. We had a great, active sex life. She has loots of friends and is super social just like me. It's normal for us to hang out with people. We aren't that couple that has to be near each other 24 hours 7. But we did spend so much time together and she still managed to get away with it. The only reason I caught her is cause I overheard a strange conversation she was having on the phone while I was trying to surprise her at work. I asked what it was about and she almost fooled me but my gut told me something's wrong. And there were lots. She got off work and we took the rest of the day to talk about it. She herself confessed of never being faithful for more than a week. How can a person do this? This is sickness. I refuse to believe she cheated on me with so many different women just because. I seriously think she has problems and this is an addiction. She says no, she isn't addicted and she's just a bad person. I just can't wrap my head around it. She was never my girlfriend she was everyone's girlfriend and I was a fool for thinking we were in love. I just can't believe she would do this to me. I would have trusted her with my life and I did. I feel like I've been cut deep and this cut will never heal. I literally feel the intensity of my hurt and I already know it's too deep and I'll never stop feeling this pain. All we had was nothing. I don't mean anything to her. Meanwhile I thought the world was ours. What a shitshow. 
I am just speechless and I am trying to find an explanation but I just feel humiliated. I genuinely can't understand how anyone could do this to their partner. Like how sick is this? She's just a shitty person, I'm sorry. Remove her from your life and work on healing. Please 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 get tested for STIs. IDK if this helps but she didn't do this to you. She did it for her own selfish gratification. Maybe she a narcissist or a sex addict but she's certainly lacking. I'm sorry that happened to you. What is your request for advice? This is heartbreaking. I know you don't want to have to hear this at the moment, but she did not have any respect for you or your health. You need to get a STD check as soon as possible. Her emotional problem is her problem to figure out now. She could have a sex addiction, be selfish, or just now care about anyone but herself. But, this is not your problem to deal with. If she really wants to change, and I doubt she does at this moment, it will take her a long time for her to come around. If you stay with her while she attempts to figure this out, she will continue to cheat. So, expect to got through heartbreak, self-doubt, lack of self-respect, and a lot of medical appointments and possibly lifelong health problems or even life-ending disease for yourself from her trysts. You will find more help on R. Surviving infidelity when the times comes. I hate that this happened to you. We all learn hard lessons trying to love young women. That sucks. You have to realize that it really is not your fault. She manipulated you into thinking that she actually cared, that she actually was into you. The reason you're so hurt is because you let your walls down and let her get close to you. That's what manipulators do and what they crave. So try not to take it personally. Time heals all things. You'll never forget this. But you can't let this horrible thing that wasn't your fault consume you, or change who you are. Good luck with everything you will be okay and recover from this. There is another group called Surviving Infidelity on Reddit, that may be able to really offer some advice and help you along on your recovery from this as everyone there has at one point or another experienced what you are currently experiencing. I am so sorry you are going through this. Please know that this is completely on her and not on you. Also if you have any mutual friends who knew about her cheating, cut them out of your life ASAP. You deserve to be with someone who respects you, and I'm sorry your ex is so broken she tried to break you too. But do your best to keep your head up, someone better is out there. I want to buy a home, 27 female, 32 male, but my boyfriend thinks it's a terrible idea. Hi Reddit, thanks for helping. I am ready to buy a home. Or at least would make the next step. My partner and I live in an apartment paying $1,200 plus all utilities, let's say $1,400 1500 total split. I am looking for houses that with monthly mortgage and insurance, $700,800 plus utilities. He doesn't want to buy because he says owning a home will cost more down the line with repairs since the landlord pays for them. Which, in my eyes, if we are paying much less than what we are currently paying, why not put that extra money away in case an emergency happens? Rent is only increasing in our area, and I'm ready to make investments. I don't understand why we would pay a landlord the extra money that we are already spending and not just put that towards savings if we owned a home? I've even offered to have the house in my name and he can rent from me if he feels more comfortable not having that financial responsibility. Worst case if things don't work out, then I can find a roommate, it's not uncommon where I live to do so. I'm frustrated because he doesn't work towards investing or even working on his credit, his anti-CC, etc. I want things of my own and not having to make someone rich where I can spend that money on my own property. Plus, equity if we want to sell and move later on. Also, we want kids, and I want pets. Those only increase as well when looking for apartments that have the room and capability. I don't want to wait for him to make investments on my future. I know he talks about marriage or kids, but hasn't made any steps to build our future other than coasting. I don't want to rush him. I also don't want to miss out on opportunities if he doesn't want to work towards them. Any advice? You're financially correct and are making accommodations for him to rent. All this seems straightforward. Anti-CC bothers me because it doesn't take into account how to use credit properly i.e. pay off every month to get the cashback bonuses. Have you explained all this plainly and asked him to specify his specific objections? If he can't put it into words then it seems fishy. If you do buy a home, congratulations BTW, don't add his name. I don't have much else to add, everyone else got it. I mean it sounds like you want different things in your life. If he decides he absolutely doesn't want to buy a house for the next decade or even for the rest of his life is this a deal breaker? I think maybe you should head over R. Financial Planning or R. Personal Finance. 
This seems to be a difference in opinion in terms of budgeting and such, not an actual rift in the relationship. Good luck though. If you want a home then move forward without him. Leave the option of him renting from you open until a few weeks before move in. If he decides he doesn't want to move in then get roommates. Edit. If you can do it without him. I'd highly recommend you do it on your own since you aren't married. I think you guys just might not be on the same page. Maybe ask him if there's another reason why, aside from those, issues down the line. Has he showed little interest in financial matters, credit in the past? However, I do favor your ideas a lot more and think you should go through with them. If you feel you're ready to take this step and it will benefit you, you should do it. Your boyfriend is a dumbass. It's much more expensive to pay someone else for a place to live every month than it is to pay yourself. Something breaks down the line and you don't have the cash to fix it? You can re-mortgage the house. Buying a house is the equivalent of throwing your rent into a savings account every month. The real answer is he doesn't see himself with you long term and buying a home is a large commitment. Why the hell are people buying homes together before being married? Let me guess he's also argued against getting married because, it's just a piece of paper, he doesn't want to be legally tied to you to keep his options open, but isn't enough of a man to just say it out loud. 14 years old girl gets too close to my BF. I, 21F, went to a church event with my boyfriend, 21M, where people of all ages were invited. His friends and acquaintances also were there. This is only my second time seeing all of them. I've known about this one particular girl, 14F, who seems to tease and bully my boyfriend whenever they're at an event together. She looks a little older than 14 by the way. But I didn't care or pay much attention to it the first time because I thought of her behavior as being like a little sister, especially because of the age gap. She's also been sweet towards me and often asks my boyfriend about me. However, I noticed that when my boyfriend and I were seated at a computer, she walked up behind him and got very close to point at something on the computer screen. Her chest was against the back of his head and her arm was extended near his face, her chin was almost resting on the top of his head. My boyfriend seemed totally oblivious to it and neither of them seemed to think much of it. She did this in two more instances, where she was standing and pressed up against his chair and her chest was touching his ear. I was surprised to see how close she'd get to him, especially in front of me which shows me that this wasn't the first day she's done that. Am I unreasonable to feel uncomfortable with how close she gets to him? Especially since they're not related. How can I possibly bring this up to her without offending her? It's unreasonable because she is literally a child. Straight up tell her that's not appropriate, who cares if you offend her? Yeah she probably has a little crush on him. But she's also 14 so telling her no and setting boundaries should do the trick. He needs to put his foot down and tell her to respect his personal space. This seems to be over-sexualized behavior for a 14-year-old. Others that see from afar may see at him condoning the behavior and he could be falsely accused. She could also accuse him if he doesn't put his foot down sooner versus later. The little friend obviously has a crush and it's 100% illegal no matter what country you're in. The boyfriend thinks it's fine because of the age difference thinking, oh she's a little kid, most likely. She's a minor in every sense of the word so you tell her, as the adult, directly that it's inappropriate and to stop pressing her body against an adult and especially your BF. And tell to her boyfriend he shouldn't allow it. Kids that age develop crazy crushes. The person to mention it to is your BF. Just say you noticed she was pressing herself into his personal space, and ask him if he thinks she has a crush. No accusations needed, no guessing. He'll probably say, what? Lol no, but after that, he'll become more aware of it and create appropriate distance like a grown ass man, which he is. You shouldn't bring this up to her, you should bring this up to him. Obliviousness is not an excuse from him. You need to make him aware of this and he needs to move away from her in an obvious way when it happens or he needs to straight up tell her it's not appropriate. She's 14 lol. And if you're worried your 21 yo boyfriend might act on it then she's the least of your worries. I don't see too much of a problem. Just harmless contact in my eyes. Now if it progresses there might be a problem, but otherwise I'd say maybe bring it up because it bothers but don't like press it.